Hi, I'm Steve Smith with the Double Spur Ranch. Um, we just did a video about helping your horse settle in. You know, when a horse comes to a new place, you bring a new horse home, that horse is going to have some anxiety and some fear uh, because of the new settings and the loss of what they, you know, was their support system that made them feel uh, safe and secure. So we have to reestablish those things when we do bring on a new horse. But that all boils down to dealing with anxiety, which is a very important topic when it comes to keeping our horses well behaved and training our horses. Uh, anxiety uh, plays a role in bad behavior or undesired behavior. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about anxiety, but there's, there's two anxieties that we need to worry about. One is our horses, obviously. We need to help our horse overcome anxiety and uh, learn how to deal with it, calm down. But we have to work on ours too. And there's no shame and when you go to working with your horse that you might have some anxiety, uh, fear, uh, whatever, discomfort. Um, that's natural. They're a big animal. Don't let that stop you. Um, but do identify it, accept it, own it, and deal with it. Um, so we need to work on our own anxiety. Sometimes people do breathing exercises. Uh, there's some people meditate, some people do all kinds of things. You know, you know yourself better than anyone. Figure out what it is that helps calm you down, get your anxiety levels down when you're trying to work with your horse. Um, and uh, one thing that helps me, like for instance, sometimes my heart races. Sometimes I'll, I'll have an elevated heart rate. Um, what works for me is I breathe. I take in take in a deep breath, let that take me about four seconds and let the exhale take, you know, uh, five or seven seconds. Uh, and I'll do that over and over and I can feel myself begin to decompress, feel my heart rate slow down. But whatever your thing is, you want to get that anxiety uh, in, under control before you go and try to interact with and train your horse. Your horse can feel your anxiety. Don't think he can. Your horse can feel your fear. Your horse can feel uncertainty. Your horse feels all that. Your energy is very important. Horses, you know, are certainly sensitive to that. Um, prep before you train. You know, we talked earlier about calming yourself. So try breathing exercises or meditation or relaxation or whatever works for you before you go to train your horse. Get your anxiety levels down. Um, once you're good and calm, enter the pen with your horse um, and just ask for small pieces just small victories so if it's uh, uh you know if, if they move a foot in the direction that you want them to go for whatever reason then you know stop and, and take that pressure off and reward that and break it down into small pieces um i'd start with leading exercises lead your horse around the pen um, make your horse back up make your horse back off of you and then try to make them stay at that further distance behind you when you walk when you take off walking if they close the gap and get closer to you turn give them a little shake with the rope to let them know back off back off back them up start moving again and just keep stopping them when they are closing the gap between the two of you and correcting that and eventually you're gonna have your horse that's kind of paying attention to where you are at what speed you're going when you're stopping which that's key important you need them to pay attention to you and of course that also sets a tone for respect so uh, do do walking exercises and, and until they begin to pay attention to where you are and not crowd you things like that then lunge them uh, take the line off if you have a round pin take your lead line off and I, I at a very low pressure at just a very low energy just point and ask them to, to move off in a direction for you uh, you know no faster than a trot if even that Just try to establish calm try to uh, keep things very calm so they don't feel uh, chased I mean, you know th there is a time you are going to need to turn up the energy on your horse and all that's coming but as we're dealing with this anxiety to get it get them more receptive for that higher energy level get them more receptive to that let's be calm let's do low impact and keep them moving in the right direction back up step up to their shoulder change directions but everything at very low impact reward them often when we do that you know when they get it right reward them stop a lot pat a lot um, remember we're, we're, we're dealing with anxiety here um, put the lead back on and stand by spend some time with them then face up with your horse Have your horse face you up and uh, just lift one arm in the direction that you want the horse to head off in. Now, if he's used to this and he takes that step, then great. Stop, reward him, pet him, 
and then do the other side, you know. But if your, your horse is filled with anxiety, this may be more of a difficult exercise for him. So he may not want to take that step. So you'll encourage him to so put the pressure, hold your arm out with the lead rope, and then just maybe add a little pressure to this cheek over here, maybe with a, a light training flag or waving your hand or spinning a lead rope, whatever it is, a little check pressure over to that cheek because you want to push them over and you want that step so that they'll just head off in that direction you want. Well, as soon as they give you that yield, as soon as they take that step in the right direction, just stop everything. Tell them, great, good job, lots of praise, things like that. Do it again, do it again. Then do the other side, do it again. So when you get that, so what we're dealing with is actually refinement of feet movement, okay? So we're just refining that, that step off when we ask for that change in direction. And of course, this is going to make your groundwork much lighter, much more supple as, as you continue to do this. Now ask them to yield their head. So you're just gonna stand right behind their shoulder, facing the same direction that their head is. Stand right behind their shoulder, ball up your lead rope, set it up on their back, and just come around here and just pull that head around to you. Don't pull back, but pull it out and around to you. What you want is for the horse to flex the neck and give you the nose. Some horses are gonna be happy to do this, some horses are not. Uh, but again, low pressure, and if you get that, great reward. Go to the other side, do the same thing, and if you get it, great reward. Don't get too hung up on that. If they're not ready to do that, then let's move on to other moving of their feet. Because the next thing I would do is I would yield the hindquarters, which is where we're going to bend the neck put our drive line back at their hindquarters, maybe spin a rope or whatever you gotta do, and have them yield those hindquarters, leaving their front feet <clears throat> in, in place and kind of rotating around their front. So we're just disengaging that hindquarters. Reward after you get three good crossover steps to the other side. Lots of reward. Then repeat. Uh, you know, go back to number four and uh, face up, lift the line. A little pressure as soon as they give you that step. And what I, th what I think you're gonna see, what we want you to see, is that that, that, e that little step over becomes easier and easier and easier to get. And you're gonna keep on rewarding it. Um, so that's a good, you know, it's a, it's a breakdown. It's a, it is about helping your, you help your horse lower their anxiety because they're getting rewarded as they're learning and it's not a lot of pressure and they're getting that companionship and they're getting that leadership so you're making their feet move you're lowering their anxiety with a calm demeanor and low pressure and then once you get these things nice and lightened up and crisp so that you're not uh, your horse understands what it is that you want them to do then move on to the next thing then maybe turn the pressure up a little bit then maybe speed things up a little bit but get those little bitty baby steps and as you're doing your training you can find other things because uh, like we say once you understand a principle you can make up your own technique so break those things apart just little step at a time and your horse a new horse or a horse that has a lot of anxiety is going to start losing some of that anxiety because of their faith and trust in you and because you are being a good companion and better yet a good leader to them reward them let them go do it again tomorrow I'm Steve Smith with the Double Spur Ranch. Visit our website, www.doublespurranch.com. If you're ever out in the Leander, Texas area, we'd love to meet you. Come on out and see our horses and hang out with us and let's tell lies and swap stories and learn from each other.